Today, I want to teach you how you can effectively follow the market and find your entries. Let's get it. What's going on YouTube? It is your boy Ray Benz and I am back with another video and in my bag. Today, I want to teach you how you can effectively follow the market and find your entries. So right here, what you're looking at is a five minute chart. And in this particular area, we have a trend. Now we have our frequencies on the screen, our EMAs on the screen to help us judge what we can do on the lower time frame. On this channel, I teach something called a level line break. That level line break is going to be marked by the gold lines. OK, a level line break is when the average switches. So, for instance, do you see how this was red right here and then it closed teal teal being my up color? This is a level line break. OK, do you see how right here it was red? It closed teal. That is a level line break. It was red. It closed teal. That's a level line break. So one thing that you can look for to identify the level line break will be the switch of color. After that, to qualify the level line break, did price close above the previous high? Do you see this right here? This is the high of that average. I want to see if it closed above that. That's going to be a level line break. I can tell by the way that this one right here closed. It's a level line break. Do you see right here? Same thing. It closed above. Now watch this. You notice that the one or the candle that I'm talking about is on the pink line. Right. But I said the gold line was a level line break. That's because the open of the gold line is the close of the pink line. So I have a pink line on the chart because I want to signify, hey, the color switch. That means that when this candle started showing, it started showing as a up candle and then the gold confirms that it closed at an up candle the reason why i put both of those lines is because when i go to the lower time frame it can help me judge the structure just a little bit better okay so notice that we have all of our pink and um, gold lines on the level line breaks but off of important areas notice how it's coming off of the ema so before i even thought uh, start thinking about trading a trend i want to see some type of sideways market i was studying something right here but i'm going to take this i'm going to take this i'm going to make another one just so you can see what i see if I'm going to come from a higher time frame and I want to start looking for entries on my lower time frame, then I need to see something like this. If I want to trade anything, if I don't want to go to the lower time frame and I only want to trade the time frame that I'm looking at and I want to use my EMAs to help me judge what the higher time frame could potentially do. That's a gym, right? Then I'm going to look for this. I need to see some type of a sideways market. This is called an accumulation. Now, of course, this sideways market is bigger than this area. All right. When we come back over here, we can see that this is an overall picture. But this right here is enough. If I see something like this and I start to see that my highs and lows are stacking on top of each other, or if I'm in a downtrend, they're you know stacking below each other, then I can trade that trend. This market right here is traded differently than our trend market. Understand that today I'm going to show you entries for a trend market. OK, and inside of this trend market, some of the insights that I tell you might actually help you with the sideways market. But I'm going to save the sideways market for a completely different video so you can add that together. Also, before I show you how to break down and get into following the market, OK, please know Please, please, please understand that sometimes you can do something perfect and it still won't turn out your way. Remember, this is probability. So if you're going to attempt this with whatever strategy you're using or if you're following everything that I teach to a T, understand that you should not be changing the way that you enter You, as far as this uh, process. I don't want you taking a couple of trades and then it works for a little while and then you get a little inaccurate and then you start trying to enter in the middle of trades instead of entering on the close. Right. Ray, what's a close? If I go to the current market, you see, how I have time on these candles. It's 46 seconds until a new candle comes. So 44, look, 40 seconds until the close of the current candle that I'm on. That's very important. So if I go to this lower time frame, right? And we go all the way back to this first pink line. We're going to go to the one minute chart. 
All right, and we're gonna go all the way back to the first pink line. This is the sideways market. I want you guys to pay attention to the structure. All right, this is where the color switch happened. Anytime you have a level line break, you're gonna see a series of the same color. You have to understand that. So a pullback is necessary if you wait for a pullback. Now understand right here, you didn't necessarily get one immediately, but it did happen. And also, because this was so exaggerated, look at the structure inside of it. Yes, you could catch sales inside of this, but that comes from experience. It comes from you being very accurate and following the market like perfectly, right? You have to reference a higher time frame to be able to do that. But I don't want to talk about that in this video. What I want you to see is that we have the sideways market. We have the level line break. Look what price does. It comes back to that same area and it leaves. It is an opportunity here to enter. It's an opportunity here to enter. And you also have an opportunity in here, but this would be more of a risky opportunity here, but still an opportunity depending on where you take those trades. I want you to understand that when this five minutes said, hey, it's a level line break. Now you're on the lower time frame. This goal line was the level line break on the five minute. You're on the lower time frame looking at this last area of structure from when it opened positive to it closed positive. Will it break that area? That's why in some videos I'll say, hey, I don't want to see price fall below this area. If it falls below this area, I have to wait a little bit longer or my idea isn't as solid as I thought it was. Right. You see how the market gets aggressive and then it comes back. It closes this we see this all the time and sometimes you'll see something like this it'll do this you think it's going to go to the moon it's just going to go up forever and then it'll start to make its way back down right but it probably was missing a structure or something on the higher time frame to support that idea okay so that's the first example right here now over time i could tell you like hey you know um when it's a way it's an oversold or overbought market it's going to come back to the ema that's something that you should know i've talked about it in past videos but for the sake of this video i just want you to focus on the level line break for the same direction as the higher time frame okay so when we look at this look at the same thing this opened positive see that and then it closed this is where the level line break closed look at this structure it didn't necessarily pull back, but do you see how you have a lot of pressure? Even though it was sellers in this area trying to get the market down, that average never broke and it pushed its way all the way up. Something I can tell you about markets that move like this, they almost always slam back, right? The hard part is not getting caught in this. This is the hard part. So you have to be very patient. What you can do to avoid taking too early of trades on this, can you please let a flat bottom close? I'm not talking about a weak close. It is a such thing as a flat bottom candle looking like this, but it closes very weak. It'll look like it won't close down here. It'll look like this, but it'll close up here. You wait on those. OK, I'm really dropping gems on you right now because this is what you have to look at in regular trading. And you really have to be sensitive to it on high frequency trading. OK, so when I see something like this and I see a lot of structure and candles and it want to over exaggerate, look, look at the zone it came from. It went from here all the way here. That's a whole move. Also understand that this little piece right here, this is the same move. OK, we had less than four candles going in the opposite direction. I consider that the same move so I won't confuse myself. So, for instance, this right here all of this is the same move even though we had a color switch it's all still the same move right so you see how it pulled back and it did not come back to this area that was the five minute level line break do you see how it came to the ema and it wanted to play let's say that we seen something like this and we wanted to enter and we took a l that just means hey this area isn't strong as i thought i'm going to put a zone right here because i want to see how price is going to react that means that you probably would wait through most of this and then be able to catch this. Even if you took two bad trades here, that's okay because you have a chance to still catch this, right? Because we are trading on that higher time frame trend. Another thing that I can let you know that can help you with not getting caught in areas like this is looking at the higher time frames time. So for instance, we can see down here at the bottom, okay, we have time signatures. So right here it says it was 14. Uh, it was 1410. That means that this right here was the start of a new candle. So when this popped up, this was the start of a new five minute candle. If I'm looking at that five minute candle and also looking at the lower time frame candle, you can come up here and split your screen into two, right? 
if I'm looking at that in the time, does it make sense? Hey, if this was really going to continue to go up, why did it create all of this? It's automatically going to make me wait because I want to see what that higher time frame candle closes like. All right. So keep that in mind. And I'll put matter of fact, let me put both screens up so you can see what I mean. All right. Down here at the bottom, this is a five minute chart. This was at let's go to we were at 14.10 or somewhere in there. This is 15.10. I was at 14.10, so I was over here. All right, so 14.10, let's go find it. Somewhere in here, right here, this is 14.10. So do you see how we were in, we were in a sale area right here, so they're still closing red on the higher time frame, right here, five minute. Do you see, what are we looking at up here? Make sure that's one minute, boom. We're still closing red. So if I'm in this area, let me get over here where I need to be. I really wish PO was like trading view, man. If they did an update like that to where your curses could match if you're on the same one. Ooh, we that's that's scary. OK, so we got our 1410. We're looking at 1410. We got this close right here. But then down here on 1410, you see how, yes, we are above. We are above our EMA, but it's still closing red. So. And it's still like you see how it's still almost like a flat bottom, even though it's not a lot of volume. We can tell by the size of these candles. It's not it's not pushing when it really wants to push. It pushes, guys, when it really wants to move, it's going to move. So when I see something like this, it's like, hey, that doesn't mean the trend is over. It just means it's, it's something happened on the lower time frame that needs to confirm before it wants to push off. And then when it pushes off, it has to beat this high in a reasonable amount of time. So the fact that it pushed to this high failed but didn't break this low, push to this high, failed, but then look, sentiment changed right here. What does that mean? It didn't cycle back, right? It was less time. If we're looking at an average in areas where you have an accumulation, it's gonna be even cycles. Your indicators are so accurate in areas like that. So on this lower time frame, the fact, the fact that this right here was between two areas, your indicator is going to be really good at calling reversal trades. It's predictable because over time of whatever time frame you're looking at, it's enough data in that area for that algorithm or that indicator that you're looking at to be able to give you that reading. All right. But when I'm looking at this five minute, I do know that, hey, this high, this low is above this high and above this low. So as long as that pattern is happening and this low isn't broken, catch what I'm trying to tell you right now. Look, high, low, high, low, high. Low, watch this, equal high, equal low, equal high, this is not an equal low, right? When it breaks right here, that doesn't mean it's gonna go up because it broke this area. Now you're really paying attention on the five minute. That's a very strong close. It didn't cycle all the way down here, right? This is this is changed. Look at the cycles, even, 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 not even. Do y'all see that? Y'all might have to replay that, okay? So when I'm looking at this in this area, it's opportunity to catch this trade. Now, most of the time when you're trading, even myself, I like to see pullbacks. I like to see things come back. If I was looking at the five minute and I'm like, OK, can this come back and confirm this area? It isn't always going to do that. Right. But we get this a lot where the volume will stall out. It'll be something on the lower time frame, probably like a squeeze. And then it will take off. So if I go to this area, this is fifteen fifty five. All right, let's go ahead and take this off. We get back to our one minute. Let's find 1555 and see what that looks like. 1555 is right here. Is this not a squeeze? Right? We that was my first course I ever created on YouTube. Master the skill. I talked about looking for the squeeze and catching the trade with the Bollinger bands. Boom. And then after that, look at the highs and the lows stacking on top of each other. Plenty of opportunity to be able to catch trades. Now, with your entry, Ray, do I take a two minute? Do I take an eight minute? Do I take a four minute? Guys, let me let me get you to understand something. If I was trading off of the EMA, eight minutes trades are very safe. OK, if I seen this and I consider this a level line break and I see that it's making structure on top of this and I wanted to enter for an eight minute trade, that's a gigantic snipe. The safest place to be able to take a trade is off the EMA. But the place that usually gets the most structure, if you take that EMA trade too soon, 
is the EMA. So now you can use that knowledge for your timing. Hey, I took this trade off the EMA and it kind of played around a little bit and I lost it. Let me wait a little bit because it might not be ready. And I'm going to assess the market. I'm going to look at that higher time frame, look at that lower time frame, put some more zones and think through it. I'm going to let these candles close because guess what? It will be a point in time when it just makes too much sense. So it's better to wait than to just enter trades anyway. OK, that comes with experience that comes with you journaling and understanding what's going on. And I'm only covering this because, yes, you can jump around and look at all these people who teaching you, oh, I made seven hundred and fifteen minutes. I made thirty dollars and in four minutes. I made seven hundred dollars and fifteen minutes. That's what that gets you to click on the video. Then they teach you, oh, this strategy, this strategy, this strategy, this strategy. I promise you right now. If you understand how to read the average of a Hakanashi candle, it don't matter what strategy you want to trade. You're going to be more accurate because you're trading the average of price and not just price itself. Period. OK, so if I'm looking right here and I say, well, I have these two candles. I see that this closed week, but this wasn't this wasn't really a level line break. Then I have a pattern right here. So it creates it. We used to call this a power pattern on in my simple Forex profits course. I really think y'all should go check that out. It's a very powerful course can help you understand. It's available to my YouTube members. Watch this. This is a power pattern. But do you see how it's so weak? And then it did not cycle back to the EMA on this time frame. And right after that power pattern, if we entered it, we we not feeling too confident because the next candle is weak. Now, if this was a two minute trade, that's a win. If I enter an eight minute trade right here, that's a win. If I enter a four minute trade right here, that's a win. So if I enter off right here, it's close. One, two, three, four. That close kind of weak. I'm going to assume the loss. That's not a win. Now, that's the hard part. I'll say break down two minute trades. I like the eight minute trade, four minute trade, eight minute trade, 15 minute trade. But this is something I've really been working on. OK, if I see that I have a great pocket and some structure and it's not beating a higher time frame level line break, I'm going to enter for two minutes. That's a quick win. All right. I should see that market run. If it doesn't run, I deserve to lose. It's too much of probability on my side. OK, if I'm looking and I say, hey, it's kind of choppy. Even the level line break was choppy. It'll prompt me to lose. Do you know that you can understand that we see that the higher time frame is closing? for a buy but the pressure might not come in as soon as we want it to so we do have to be patient the more candles the better that means if i see that the market is moving choppy it is okay to do this right here guys look at this let's make it yellow and three so you can see it if you're following this market and you see like okay the color is staying the same it's not closing red follow the wicks because it is going to start to stack you see how this sideways squeeze is above this piece this is inevitable. If you don't see those lows breaking the last lows when the color changes, you know, you have to trade this. Now, let's say this is still low volume. I understand. Right. This is still low volume. It looks like all of this when this forms right here. It's like, OK, when I get that flat bottom, now I'm locked in. I understand that this right here is over all of this. Now, it's hard to catch trades like this because down here, right? It is like it likes to slow down. It likes to sometimes it'll snap back. Let me see if I can find an example when you catch a trade like that. It'll be something like this. And, you are you know, the structure looks good. So you're trying to catch that two minute up and then you get hit with this. Right. So what I can say is this. If you see that you got all of this squeeze and it's been going sideways and you're uncomfortable entering that two minute trade by just looking at this chart when you got this close here. So really, you're going to be up here somewhere. It is OK. It is OK to go to the 15 second because the same thing happens. I'm going to take you to that area. You only drop to the 15 second when you're looking for that entry. You know, everything's checking out in the lower time frame. So on this time frame, I can't wait. The, the first set of structure I see, I got to take it. Here's your win right here. Here's your win. Notice it. I already saw it before I got down here because I seen the one minute. I can show you exactly where it's at when I go back to the one minute because it looks like it, it stalls a little bit. But. Here's the structure that you get to enter right here. You have to watch it. This is a I see something and I take it. And I guarantee you when you're watching it, these are 15 second candles. You're not going to take that. 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 That's going to stick out like a sore thumb. You want to know why? Because it was going down right here like it opened red. This was pushing red. I know that because it closed blue. And I promise you this closed up here on the tip of this wick. And I know that because this is a flat bottom. That flat bottom means it opened red. But it closed up here and it closed up here because it never got back to this point. If it would have got back to this point, it would have created another wick at the bottom. 
Ooh, I bet you didn't know that. That's why this hindsight review be so powerful because once you look at the live market so much, it makes more sense when you go study the hindsight so you can be prepared when you're in the live market. I'm on fire and I'm not done. Look at this. We got back to the one minute. I told you I would show you exactly where that's at. So let's go back to where our markings is. You see where it slowed down right here? Still a flat bottom candle, but volume is low. You're assessing. You're assessing. So that's the only reason you dropped down to the lower time frame because you saw this squeeze. You know this squeeze. You ain't always going to get a retrace back to the squeeze. So let me go to the lower time frame to see if I'm going to have structure above some to see if I can catch me a quick two minute inside of this run right here. And then after it does go red, you see that. And then this sits on top of that. You got a two minute right here. This sits on top of that. You got a two minute right there. This sits on top of that. You got a two minute right there. This sits on top of that. You got a two minute right here, but maybe you got spiked out. Now you slow down. You avoid this. Oh my God, Ray. That's how it works. That's how it works. I understand that you might look at this and say, well, Ray, you know, this is hindsight. How can I view this when I'm in the live market? That is called a tendency. Uh, you use the tendency to judge where you are in the current move so you can make the best decision for you. Yes, trading with the trend is easy, but in high frequency, your timing has to be impeccable. And I promise you, if you get this down for high frequency, you trading the traditional forex market, you trading in the stock market, the timing on which you want to take your entries, especially if you're going to scalp, day trade, swing trade, doesn't matter. It's going to make more sense because you've been at a high frequency place where you cannot control you closing the trade. So you have to be a stickler. You have to be you have to be so focused, so sensitive to your entry because every single candle can mean something. All right. So when I'm looking at this, if I'm going to approach this in the live market, this is how we break it down. You see, this is the one minute I'm looking. I'm looking at the EMAs. I'm looking at the zones. OK, I'm not going to place no zones on this lower time frame just yet. I want the higher time frame to guide me. But I am saying like, hey, these EMAs were broke, didn't really make that much structure, came back down to the zone. That higher time frame is probably a couple of weeks. Right. So I'm going to go to the five minute and we can see. Not really. It's a lot of wicks, but it's not the way I thought it would look. I thought it would be a little bit more even. All right. Look at this. Let's mark our zones. How did you come here? And then this happened. That's important. So what I'm going to do. OK, we are going to clear this right here. So let's go up here and clear all of this. And then we're going to go get. Let's get a rectangle because I want you to see. All right, so I have these zones here. I have these zones marked. I also can see level line breaks. I'm just putting this here for reference. Why did that stop there? Hmm, orange, I like to use that for caution. I'm gonna go here and get a vertical line. I'm gonna say this right here was the level line break, so I can make that gold. Same thing, let's make it two so we can see it. Let's get another one. And then this is where the color changed, all right? I'm gonna make this pink. I can do it for red too. I see I'm on a downtrend, but I want to see it right here. I want to see it right here. So I see that this right here, it this opened flat. So this right here was the level line break close. So let's tap the gold, hit that. Let's put this here. And then I'm going to come over here and I'm going to hit copy. And this is where the color changed. It started off red, then it ended there. This helps me with my zone on the lower time frame. I do it that way. I can I clearly know that when I put this gold line, of course, the color changed the, the candle after. But I'm doing that for a reason. All right. I got my caution here. Just looking at this zone. Why did it stop there? I can drop down to the one minute and now I'm looking at it. Hmm. OK. It started here. It ended here. That's all level line. Let's match it up. Let's get the rectangle. Look at this. All right, I'm going to start here. And I'm going to come here. And I want to see, like, I don't have to come all the way across. I just want to see, is price going to beat this area? Anywhere in here making structure in here, that's okay. That's okay. I have to see the way the structure is forming. It's usually going to form off of that EMA. If it's not respecting this side of the EMA, it'll start respecting the other side of the EMA. That's why I like my green EMA so much. All right. That's really any EMA you put on there. The, the tempo at which you can trade depends on the period length of the EMA or frequency that you're looking at. OK, so I'm looking at this and I see that. Oh, OK, you see how it's making structure in here. This will start to stick out. 
like a sore thumb. You can catch a two minute right there. All right. But this is still hindsight. I'm just looking at it. All right. I see that it's making structure right here. It slams back down. I got another I got another level line break in this same area. OK, so I'm going to move this one and I'm going to just come over here. I'm looking at this and I'm like, all right. I see it closed right here. What's happening? You see how it made structure right here and it pushed off this area. That's very interesting. This right here. Hmm. Let me go back to the higher time frame. I see price get into that area. I'm just working my working my way to the current market. OK, I see that this was a very strong pullback here. It was on a it was on a, um, a strong uptrend. OK, so I'm looking at that. I see that I'm at this this double bottom, almost like W shape. And it's a lot of structure in this area, too. And then it's structured below this area. So I'm going to hit this box. And I'm going to do it just like this. I'm going to come up here and I'm going to mark this area from right there to the tip of that wick. I'm going to go all the way across. I'm just following the market. Go back to this one minute. I see that this is a super strong push up. Now I got options. I know that this is um, a very strong push on the one minute. That means that my five second is extremely oversold. Right. And I'm coming into an area where orders might actually come in. So I could come up here and say, hey, I want to do a 30 second trade. Look at that. Too slow. You see how that happened right there? Now I want to show you something. I'll take a one percent right here. So what? I'll take a 30 second trade right here. Look how heavy this push up. This right here was the last area of structure. You see how it fell back and it went up. So I would look right here. This is why I don't trade super low time frames because you have to see stuff like this super fast. But this is the last area of structure. We got to hope it beats. OK, it flies past that. All right. Let's see if we can hold. Look, it's pushing past. You see how it volume looked like it wanted to come back in. How much more time we got right there? All right. This happens on any time frame. So I seen that's where areas coming in. I understood the tendency. Boom. I had to act on it. This is high frequency. Watch this. I got that win. Now I'm going to go back to the one minute, back to the one minute. Now, look, orders came in. Now I have to wait on my one minute close. I took that trade because of experience. I watched the charts. I journal my trades. I understand where I'm at in the tendency. I saw this extra stretched up on that five second chart. It's a chance that orders are going to come in and it's going to move. Boom. Got the smack. Now the one minute has closed. And this opened red. This could potentially be a pink line and a gold line. So now we got to look at it. And that's if I drop to the 15 second, by the way, because the, the time frame concept that I showed you with the pink and gold line matters. Now, if we want to do it for the five minute, which I suggest you don't want to start confusing yourself. This is just a reject off a of zone. So really, we probably got about if we want to see a pink and a gold line, that's 10 minutes of waiting. Does that make sense? So now I have to judge, you know, what type of level line break I have. Is the level line break matching the EMAs? Or am I on a sideways market? If it's a sideways market, and I told y'all y'all was going to get some gems about sideways markets because when you go through these time frames, you see both scenarios over and over and over. That's how you get the timing right. Now we have a, we have a sideways like movement on our five minutes. So you do trade those differently. Guess what I like to do? I like to wait. Even though this was a very strong move and you want to catch that entry at the top of these wicks, it's better to let this close and see if you can get some type of pullback in this area to catch a quick win. If I go down to the one minute and look at where this happened, hmm, it happened right here. Would I would have caught that? No, I probably would have had a higher chance of catching this right here. Definitely. Right. If I let this close, you can watch this. You can actually catch the trade and the level line break that's forming. You can get the win that comes from experience. I'm just letting you know that me, I like to see this happen and then find the structure and take the trade off of that because this is high frequency. So it makes me feel like my dollars are more secure. You see how we got the level line break right here. If I was doing that for the one minute, I'm going to move it from right here off the five minute. Now I'm going from the one minute. This right here was. The close of the level line break. This was the color switch right here. So now if I drop all the way down to the 15 second and I'm looking for an opportunity to take a trade down there, I can go to the 15 second and now I can look at the structure. Right. I'm going to take this right here, which is crazy. That's the area of last structure when we went all the way down to the five second. Ain't that crazy? Now it's making structure below. It started here and it closed about here. So I don't want to see. Hold on, guys. All right. I don't want to see this area. I don't want to see price back up in this area. All right. We got the 15 second. Look how close it is to this right here. And we, and this is against the trend, by the way. And this is against the trend. So now this is just following it. Oh, we definitely want to do two minute trades on this chart. Let me do one minute then two minute. All right. We're on the 15 second. It's going sideways. All right. I, I don't want to see price back up there. I'm looking at look. I'm looking at this right here. I see you. 
this structure right here, you know, or do you want to push down to the zone? Do you want to go to this EMA? Do I really want to trade against my EMA? I don't think I want to. I'm going to be patient. I'm going to go back up to this one minute. Let's see if this is going to level line break right here. That would, that would be pretty strong to see if it'll come back up in this area. Still closed red. That's interesting. Let's go to the 15 second. Now, usually when I have this, I'll have the five minute at the bottom and I'll be going between one minute, the one minute chart and the 15 second chart at the top. So if I was looking at this with both of my screens up, I would be like this, right? All right. I got the 15 second here. I can also check over here because I always have my time one. I got the 15 second right here. I got the five minute here. Ooh, is it safe to take a trade up? That's a lot of area. That five minute just hit this area. Doesn't mean it's going to go down. It can blast through this too. So I'm just paying attention to what this lower time frame is doing to see if it's going to complement. Because this right here is holding still for buyers, I want to see this high broken. That'll make me very confident. This is a structured candle. If you were going to take this trade right here, this is the candle to take right here. I didn't take it. Let's see if if it's going to come and still respect this area and still close up. All right. Notice that if this level line breaks right here, we're going to be paying attention because it didn't break that high. And we're in an area where it's been going sideways so far. All right. Off a higher zone. And then also when this closes, even if it's a level line break, was it a strong level line break? Was it a weak level line break? It's not a level line break at all. It rejects off that area. Let's just entertain an uptrade here. We see that it came to this area. It got this higher time frame zone, but then it forces back off of this. So now I'm following the lower time frame. I'm trusting the bias that I have, even though I'm at a zone that seems like it's going to be strong. But I know that that can be the reason I lose the trade is the zone. That's the only thing that's against me. I have a higher time frame bias. I have closes that are complementing off of other lows and I'm seeing them close. So that's why I took that trade. And then we just wait for two minutes and see if we won. All right. Notice how that came off that zone super hard. All right. Looks like it wants to close down there. All right. That's still closed teal. Now we got to see what this candle is going to do. Because this is a strong zone, you don't want to see too many wicks because the sentiment will die, especially on the time frame that you're on. So that's what I'm looking at. All right. That closed red, but that was very weak. We still got two minutes left on our five minute. Very weak. That's not a bad close. That's still weak, though. We need to see this right here broken. Not bad. We should now this has to run. If this doesn't run right here, we in trouble. We need to see this broken. I'm just following my trade. There we go. I'm just following my trade. If that wouldn't have broke, it would have been a higher probability of me getting spiked out even faster. Still a chance of me losing a trade. It can always come back and test. You never know what it's going to do, but you do want to see those closes in your favor. I'm just following the market. All right. We got eight more seconds and we up out of there. Five more seconds. This is this is how you follow the market. doesn't matter what strategy you want to use. Smack right there. Boom. Perfect. Perfect. I love it. OK, so what should you get from this video? All right. One, I'm Ray Bans and this is what I do. I don't understand why. <laughs> That's so uh, self-righteous, I guess. I don't want to offend nobody. Please take the information that I'm sharing with you, the community that I'm building, the discord that I have, the tactics that I have and take it serious. Guys, I've been in this industry for over four years. I've had success for four years. Okay. I have a very rare trading story. I know it's traders out there that got more experience. It's probably better than me, but guess what? I'm helping people get results. And on this channel, I'm sharing information with you that'll make you more accurate. And you not only will be able to trade just a high frequency market, you want to trade futures, you can trade futures. You want to trade in the, um, in the stock market, you can trade in the stock market. You want to trade Forex. It's that's just the nuance of the trade changing. You can trade that. I teach you how to understand what you're looking at on the chart so you can make better decisions. Okay. I have funded traders. I have profitable pocket options traders. Um, and I'm both myself guys. Like I, I want you guys to win and I know I can help you get there. So I really hope that this video helps you and hopefully we see you in the community. You can look on my channel and find the buy button.
All right, when you come to my YouTube channel, you'll literally be able to see Ray Ban's trading regimen. It have my most recent video or the video I think you should rewatch that has some insight in it. And then you'll get into my content, trading gems, where I have various videos that I talk about, you know, just things about trading, how to do this and how to do that. Great section. I have interviews. I'm so excited about this section. This is where I'll be posting interviews of people in my community and also people in my life that have watched me build and do the things that I've done. And, you know, I do have a barbershop and lounge that's opening up soon. So you guys will be able to see interviews about that and some information on that on my channel very soon. Uh, we have the Hakanashi Cheat Code course. This is available to all members. When you get on my channel right here, it's going to say join. I, earlier I said buy button, but, you know, it's going to say join. You can hit that button and join my members when you join in the community all you have to do is connect your youtube to discord and it'll prompt you to be able to enter look at this to be able to enter my chats and you can come in here or we always talking about trading bro look these are not my charts these are member charts right this is them smacking trades this is them talking about what they're doing you know and i have people in here that's compounding accounts like they're going crazy it's a reason why they're going crazy because they're in a community where they can get the answers and they have everybody trading the same way that's so powerful okay it's other benefits in this discord okay we got the po bonus codes we got the snipe guys you can have access to we got the plan we have us being accountable to each other and us building a community of profitable traders we got all of that but what's most important is new people coming in and getting results faster than the people that's already in there and i know that that's available through what i'm doing because i've been doing it for so long simple forex profit course boom notice right here it says trendsetter and master trader tiers that means that if you're a pip starter you get access to the discord and the signals and the live trade sessions and stuff but if you're a trendsetter and above, you get access to the learning material. And I have all the courses here. Guys, I used to sell this course for 500 that this is 50 bucks, 60 bucks. Look, look at this. This used to be on my private app. OK, it was 99 bucks a month to be on there. Look at this. Um, uh, the, the charts course. This right here, I was selling for 750. And this it's more information that I haven't put right here because I'll be putting it into the discord. But I promise you this information, if you watch through this information and then you start watching the videos I release on YouTube, you will see why people say what they say. You'll see why no matter, you know, the trolls that come onto this account, um, they're like, no, like this dude really is teaching what works. I have so many people that learn information from me and then they try to go start their own channels because it's just so good. And I understand that you see. So guys, like, What's up? I'm here. I'm, I'm putting it down for you. You say you want to do this. You say that trading is for you. You watch all of my videos, but then you talk about how you can't do something. You're just having an oxymoron towards your success. All right. I promise you I can assist you and get you to where um, uh, you need to be. OK. Also, uh, last thing that I want to show you is that if you do become a member. So let's say that you become a member. You want to tap into the material when you join the YouTube membership and you get access to the discord. You have an option to connect your pocket options account to me. Now, it's a lot of people who trade on pocket options and they promote their links. They tell you some little funky strategy and then, you know, you join it and you lose your money and then they get to make money. And some people don't feel good about that. Well, you know, pocket options is a broker that allows, you know, certain people to have affiliate accounts. And with those affiliate accounts, they can go out and generate a brokerage, right? They can have people trading on those links and it can generate dollars. There's nothing wrong with that. But if the person that you're connected to is not actively trying to help you, if they're not making content that's really helping you get an understanding. And every time you ask them for help, they're hitting you with, hey, I'll charge you 500. I'll charge you 2000. I'll charge you 5000 just to talk to you. If they're giving you all these different strategies and even though they're teaching you not really getting the clarity that you need or the assistance that you need or you see everybody in their community just doing any and everything. Right. If you see them stealing other information, if you see them, you know, using information just to try to clickbait people like it's very obvious to see if that's what you're a part of don't be a part of that all right if you first of all or second of all if you want to connect to my link i want you to come in here and be serious about getting results i have a very intense chat um they take risk management serious they take growing their account serious and one thing that i do in my chat that a lot of people don't do is i hold you accountable to your budgets OK, I don't want you. You you should be uploading money to pocket options every single month so you can use that compound interest to put the, the benefit of you being inaccurate in your favor. That means that even if you're losing trades, you're not losing trades at a rate at which you can't keep your account leverage up. So when you hit those hot streaks, you can get all your money back and you can make profit. 
That's the that's the strategy to it. You have to have a budget for that. So I don't want you uploading all your money to pocket options and you don't have a budget. So we're going to help you unlearn some bad habits. We're going to help you get that budget right. We're going to make sure that you have an account that you can scale when you have a budget every month that you can add money to that account, have your resources, stay in the chat. Like I even if you make zero trading dollars, I want you to have the opportunity to have a better budget. I want you to have an opportunity to understand how you manage your money and how you manage your trading better. And in the long run, 10, 15, 20 years, Years later, you'll see how this this small it's not even a small opportunity, but you'll see how this small step, this small piece of discipline, this huge industry, how it'll benefit every other area of your life. OK, so I have a chat in here that will teach you how to do all of that. And once you get it set up, you can come down here to request God. And boom, I'll give you access to that. You'll get access to copy trades. And we just in here going crazy. So with that, I want you to take that information and I want you to go practice. From what I showed you, the two active trades that I took that quick, we made 2% on our account. I want you to go practice. I want you to journal and you might see some things that stick out and can have some questions for me to answer, which will cause me to study even harder right? You take what you study, post it in the discord, because I know you're going to become a member and we can get down to the root of you getting accurate on these charts. So all the people who are talking about, you can't do it and it's not real. You can silence them with success and then still help them because that's the type of person you are. I really do appreciate you guys for spending time with me on this video and I will catch you on the next one. Peace.